the fall of the empire, there's a phase where you pass through where you move from building the empire to looting the empire. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And I've been thinking about this a lot recently, but there comes a time in the fall of, of almost every empire, at least that I can think of, where the leaders of that empire move from a place where their interests are aligned with the growth of an empire, they are feeding in to grow the empire, and I don't just mean like militarily or like expanding the borders, I mean like internal renewal, industry, right, art, culture, things like that, like, like really building the empire, building a civilization, right? There's a place where the leaders move from contributing to that to starting to loot from those stores that others have built up. And primarily in this context, when I say loot, I mean take the wealth out of the nation, right? When you build that stuff in, civilization, art, culture, industry, manufacturing, right? You're building up the wealth of a civilization and a people. And at some point, when the empire starts to degrade, you will see the leaders stop contributing to build that up and they will do everything they can to take from that in order to enrich themselves at the cost of everyone else. I bring that up because if you've been paying attention at all, you can see that well at play in the United States of America. The people who lead this country and who are elected uh, to lead and serve this country are no longer interested in leading or serving. They are simply out to loot as much as is humanly possible for them to loot from the nation. You see this in terms of insider trading, which is obviously clearly a rampant problem within Congress. Uh, in general, both sides of the aisle, it's horrible and they all belong in prison. You also see this with the passage of huge omnibus bills with billions of dollars being passed and signed into law that no one quite knows where it's going or who gets it or where it ends up. Uh, you know, you can look at Ukraine as another great money laundering scheme. There, there are numerous examples of this where the goal is no longer to build the civilization and increase its wealth. The goal is to take from it as much as you humanly can in as short amount of time as you can in order to enrich yourself. And once you get to that point, you are absolutely past the point of no return. I have yet to see a civilization that has come back from that. They all crash and burn and then something new is built out of the ashes. There's always something new, and that's a very important point to keep in mind when going through this series, because otherwise you're gonna get very depressed. So you need to understand where you are in the context of history, and the most likely outcomes for you in your life. And the most likely outcome at this point is that because everyone is out there to take for themselves everything they can, and no one is willing to contribute in order to try to preserve, protect, and build, there's no coming back from that. That's a, po it's a point of no return. Everyone is gonna take until there's nothing left, and then something else will have to evolve or be built out of the ashes. I've been observing this the past couple of weeks in thinking about our government and the way it operates and as they continue to pass these huge omnibus bills and, and what have you, that we've just reached this point where the leaders are no longer interested in con contribution and they're only interested in taking for themselves. Plan accordingly, hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.